So I guess you guys are probably pretty excited to see Quinn Sullivan, huh? Cool. Well, we're very excited to have him down here tonight, and uh, we're going to kick it off with something a little special for you, bring him back and do a, an interview and talk a little bit about what he's been up to and what he's going to be up to and, uh, and just what's going on. Yeah, man. So how yeah. you been? I've been great. I've been great. Yeah, we had a great year. Um, so many things have happened. You know, I, we got to, uh, like, after we did Legends last year, we went to uh, India, Mumbai, India, to do this really cool festival in, uh, in Mumbai, and it was really, really interesting. Just That's to the be Mahindra Blues Festival. Yeah, Mahindra right? Blues Festival, yeah. So that was just so cool to be a part of that with Buddy and, and all these other great people, and really cool, you know. It was just a great experience, you know, okay. just to be there. It's cool. And then you did the... Uh, the the Fourth of July show as well. Yeah, the RFK Stadium show. That was that was in Washington D.C. and that was that was that was just so cool to be there. You know, I, I had no idea like you know I was able to play at that. So that was just cool in itself, just to be there and just to be a part of that. It was what was really the deal cool. with that show? Uh, well, it was the Foo Fighters thing. So Dave Grohl put on this thing and and had a whole bunch of artists and bands play. Uh, Buddy was one of them, and Joan Jett was part of it. Gary Clark Jr. did it. Um, you know, just a whole bunch of cool, really, really cool. I think Hart was on it, too. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was just like a mixture of different people. And um, and Buddy asked me to be a part of that. So that, w that was really cool. And it's just amazing, you know. Right on, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now, um, what's been going on in terms of, uh, in terms of recording? Have you, have you been putting anything together? Are you working on some stuff? Yeah, well, we were, uh, we were at Blackbird Studios uh, a few months back, and, and we recorded, you know, four or five songs. And we actually have... 10 songs now recorded, so we're hoping to get a new one out by the spring or the summer or sometime around that, so, okay. you know, now, is this, I'm excited, uh, yeah. Have you been writing some of that material? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's been a lot of me and, and my producer, Tom Hambridge, writing, co-writing and, and me writing some stuff, too, and him writing some stuff, so it's kind of a lot of collabs and, and a lot of that different stuff, so. How do you find that process? It's cool. It's, it's, it's interesting, you know. I, I think it's nice to be able to sit back and kind of look at everything you've done and just kind of write about it and, and talk about it in, in songs and, and, you know, sit back and, and, and just write and just honestly just write and record. And a lot of times when I'm, when I'm writing, it's, it's normally like on my phone, I just press record and, and it's, it's like a, you know, a guitar like verse or a chorus or a melody that I have in my head. And, you know, it's, I'm like humming it kind of, I'm humming like the notes or, or the phrase or whatever. And uh, I bring it to Tom and, and we kind of just, we work on it together and, and kind of, go from there with it, you know. So you usually start with the music then? Yeah, that's what I do normally, yeah. I mean, sometimes you can have like a story in your mind or, or something like that that you want to talk about in the song, but normally for me it's just kind of just, uh, you know, a chord progression or, or, a, or a melody that I have in my head that I need to get down on, on the phone or, or whatever, so. All right, now... Can you yeah. give us one of those? Is this top secret? Can you share no, something? No, no, no. We'll, we'll do a few tonight. Um, I guess I'll do one. Yeah, this one, uh, this is the one that Tom, Tom wrote. This is a Tom song. This one's called uh, Midnight Highway. It's an, uh, it can be on the new record. So. Okay. see some green grass Everywhere I look I see a secret smile Yeah The good days I'll number the bad days And all roads lead to the highway When the next train's leaving I got a ticket in my hand If this is nothing like the feeling I hope you understand Gotta keep it moving It's gotta keep it rolling It's gotta keep it riding Down the midnight highway It's gotta 
gonna keep a moving. It's gonna keep a rolling. It's gotta keep a riding. Yeah. Down the midnight highway. Some people take the side streets They go as far as that They get close to the city limits And they turn back On the open road There's so much to see I'll show you the world, girl If you wanna come with me Gotta keep a moving. It's gotta keep a rolling. It's gotta keep a riding down the midnight highway. Yeah. It's gotta keep a moving. It's gotta keep a rolling. It's gotta keep a riding. Riding on the midnight highway, Thank you. Johnny, if you could do me a favor, keep an eye on the, the levels on that broadcast when, uh, when, we're, when we're getting live. Make sure we're sounding good for the folks at home. We are streaming live right now, as you can yeah, see uh, on the sides of the stage here, buddyguy.tv, streaming live tonight as well. So uh, if you have a good time and you can't remember what happened, it will be recorded <laughs> for posterity. <laughs> um, I got to tell you, man, it seems like... Uh, you know, you've really made a lot of progress in that uh, you, one man. year time period. Thank you. Know? you. Um, in particular, just I think having a certain amount of confidence in your own style. Do you feel like you're really finding your own sound? Yeah, I think more now. You know, I, I think a lot of it um, before was was kind of a mixed match of different things that I, that I was doing. You know, being younger and I'm getting older now, so it, more things are happening in my life, and um, you know, more things are going on. So there's more to write about and uh, more to just say, kind of. You mm -hmm. know. And, the playing or the singing or whatever, and um, just trying to find my own style. You know, I I, I kind of incorporate so much stuff in, in what I do. It's it's not really one sort of type of music. You know, it's blues based, but it, you know, it, it, it I, I try to make it evolve into something else. You know, you know I was going to ask you if you consider yourself to be like a blues performer per se. Yeah, I, I mean that's that's what the base of it is. You know, yeah. I, but I think I think the sky kind of it's kind of a corny phrase, but it, the sky's kind of the limit. You know, for what I do, I think. As I get older, you know, I'll find other things, you know. But the blues will always, always be the thing, you know. But, but I think, but I think, you know, branch out and and, and you know, have more things going, you know. Well, I think that also actually uh, flows pretty well with what uh, what Buddy says about his experiences coming to Chicago. You know, I think we now right. have this sense of a lot of people now that sort of become this historical thing where it's like there's blues, it's in this box, it's muddy waters, and it's got this sound, yeah, or whatever, you know, yeah. And he talks about coming to Chicago where it's like if you were out playing on this scene, you were expected to be able to do right, you know, anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly, man, yeah, you know. Right on. Now, um, while we're talking about blues, we, we lost B.B. King this past year. I know, I know. Um, it's too bad. You got a chance to meet him and play with him a couple of times. I did, you? yeah. That was so, so cool and so honorable to be able to do that. You know, um, I played with him a few times. The first, I remember the first time I met B.B. King um, was actually, uh, it was in Lowell, Massachusetts. And I remember um, 
I think Buddy's uh, manager hooked us up with tickets and stuff, and, and it was really, you know, we were thankful just to be able to go to the show, and and um, we had passes, and we, we got to go backstage, and this was probably when I was about nine, so this was after the first time I, the first time I did the um, the Jimi Hendrix Experience tour. That was like the first after after that, so it was about 2009, and I just remember going backstage and, and just seeing him sitting there in his big chair, and because I think after the show, I don't, I mean, I don't know at the end of his any of his life he was doing it, but I think um, the time that the time that I saw him for the first time, um, he was you know he'd spend an hour two hours after the show and and you know meet people who had you know access to go backstage or whatever um but yeah it was just it was so so cool to meet him and and just to be able to shake his hand you know it was kind of like shaking two hands because his hands are so big you know okay. when you when you shake bb king's hands um uh, and then the next time you know I, I continued we we kind of i mean i don't know if you remembered me from the last time i saw him or whatever it was but i think he kind of knew especially when we did uh that same year um me buddy and bb uh, actually, you know, Buddy invited me to the Beacon Theater in New York to play with him and BB together. So we oh, wow. we we all jammed together. You can find that on YouTube, I think. But, okay. But um, but that was 2009, and and just recently, um, last May, we got to uh, I got to open for him in in uh, yeah, next to my hometown. It was somewhere in uh, I think the Rhode Island area or something like that. But um, uh, we got to open up for him, and it was it was pretty cool. And and the funny thing is, um. After the show, you know, we I went to go sign CDs or whatever, and we went back to the um, to my dressing room and, and whatever, and, and then we went to just go watch him, you know, because he was coming on like a half an hour after I played and stuff, and and so we we uh, we uh, went to the uh, you know went to watch him, and and then we were kind of getting ready to go because we figured you know he's probably out out of out of there by the time you know he's over, and um, I think his I think it was his tour manager that came up to us and was like he wants you on stage he wants you on stage like kind of right. calling from a distance. So I had my jacket on, you know, I had like a North Face jacket, whatever. I was, I was just, uh, you know, chilling, getting ready to go, and uh, and then he just calls me up, you know, and yeah. he, he's like, "Where's the kid?" Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I came on stage, and 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 there he was, and and he kind of, and it was just this is this is just a memory that I'll never forget for the rest of my life that I'll always always be thankful for. He just lifts up his Lucille guitar and just goes, "Here you go, play it," you know. So I wow. just. So we were sitting like this, right? And it was, I just, you know, it was yeah. B.B. King's guitar, you know. It's a and special I, moment. Yeah, man. and it's like, you know, the whole time you're like, is this actually happening? You know what it is. So yeah. it's, it's um, you know, very honored to be able to share those experiences, you know. For sure, man. Yeah. Now, I guess you've probably gotten to meet all kinds of people of yeah. doing the uh, RFK show and traveling the world and yeah. and whatnot. Uh, is there anybody stands out for you besides, I mean, obviously the story here. Is, you yeah, know, the B.B. King. The B.B. King here. Um, right? Anything I don't know. That would be there's, unexpected. There's know? a lot of people. Yeah, yeah actually, um, you know, it was really cool. We got to spend some time uh, with Dave Grohl, and and uh, he was he was a really nice guy, and and I never really thought I'd ever get to meet him, uh, but he he was really cool, especially at the RFK show because um, he we came like during the day because Buddy wasn't coming until later because Buddy didn't have to play till later, so he wasn't gonna like show up, you know, five yeah, hours yeah, before right, he had to right. go on. Um, but we we wanted to catch all the all the people play because th it was the whole day you know yeah. it started at like noon and it went until god knows when so yeah. um so yeah we were just there and and uh we went in buddy's room and and you know and dave Grohl just was just walking around mm -hmm. actually he broke his leg you, you heard about I that say, i don't think he was yeah walking, no he right? wasn't <laughs> walking actually no he was walking on this like cool contraption thing i don't know what it's called but he had his leg kind of rested in this thing and he was just he was riding around and it was like a bike almost but like for broken legs you know okay i don't know i've, I've seen people like around where yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 um so he was he was he was riding around and um and he, we heard him in the next room i think he was i think he was talking to uh gary clark in the other room because that was um he was next to buddy and stuff and and we were just kind of hanging out and uh he just walked in because he i probably thought buddy was there um but Buddy wasn't there yet, but um, but he, yeah, he just walked in, and it was just so nonchalant. Yeah. He was like, hey, what's up, what's up? And he didn't know who I was until we mentioned, you know, I, I said who I was or whatever, and, and, and I was there to play, and he was like, oh, yeah, you're the kid. You're the kid that Buddy's talking about. You're the kid. And I was like, yeah, that's me, that's me. <laughs> now, do you find yeah, that, I mean, you, you know, are, you, are you getting past that now finally? Are you kind of getting to a point where people are stopped, you know, 
pigeonhole and you as like, oh, there's the kid who can play guitar. Now it's like you're you're just a guy. Who yeah, plays I'm, I'm, guitar, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah, it's it's getting a little different now, you know. But uh, it's still kind of that, but but okay. but more mature now. So. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's tough being in an industry where, like, you know, the people at the top are all, like, 70, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, blues, blues, you're young if you're playing. If you're, you could be 50 years old and you're young in the blues, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, so we were talking world tour. You, you did go to Mumbai. That was not it, though, right? You also... No, we, we did a bunch of stuff that uh, in 2015. We also, uh, we did a bunch of stuff. We went, I think after Mumbai, we went to the studio to start recording a new record. And, um, you know, it took some time to do that to start it off. And, um, and then we had some time off, I think. And, and then March, we did, the, uh, the, we did a couple of Jimi Hendrix Experience mm -hmm. tour dates uh, with Buddy and all those great people who, who were on that. And, um, now, does everybody know what that is? Everybody know about the Hendrix Experience tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great tour, yeah. A lot, a lot of cool people on that, yeah. yeah. A lot of really cool artists on that. Um, and then April... Just kind of, I think we were just chilling, and and then the and then the summer just kicked off, and we we were just out basically the whole summer with wow. with, with Buddy and doing a lot of stuff on my own too, a lot of festivals and a lot of uh, smaller clubs and and smaller theaters. So that was cool to be able to do some of my own shows with my band and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, now you've got your own band now, right? Yeah, band. yeah. Well, it's 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 um it's with my producer Tom Hambridge, right. and um you know it's it's kind of a select uh, few of guys. You know we have. Like, we, we have people from Nashville that play, mm -hmm. you know, so it's either, you know, we, we have a few bass players that we use and a few guitar players and piano players that when they can do it, they do sure. it. So we just, you know, we fly them out or whatever, and, and they do the show and stuff, so. But it seems to work right now. That's what, that's what we're kind of doing right now. But That's cool, man. But Yeah, but the summer was great. We this whole bunch of stuff. We went all over, all over the West Coast. Um, actually, it was funny. Right after RFK Stadium, we had to get up at, like, 3 in the morning to fly to Portland, Oregon to do... Uh, a festival that that day, you wow. know. So it was that was it was all worth it though to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that going in, so okay. so we were you like, were yeah, it's, it. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the that's the life you choose, you know. Well, you know, uh, yeah, as I recall, when we'd spoken previously, you were still you know doing a lot of very much uh, trying to balance the demands of uh, you know performing and traveling and doing that whole thing with kind yeah. of the more ordinary like going to school you know kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And now it seems like things have just continued to ramp up, you know, touring internationally and, yeah. and all this other stuff. Yeah. How do you find that working for you now? Like, um, you know? Well, it's it's a bit easier, you know. I'm almost done with school. I'm a junior now, so I'm in 11th grade. So, uh, obviously, obviously, next year is my last yeah, year. Yeah. So, so I'm 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 excited to be out of okay. school, obviously. But uh, but last year we did. I did it online. I did school online last year. Oh, so okay. so it was easy for me to do that. And um, this year I went back to school just to. Just to go back, I feel like I, I uh, wanted to finish in my class and stuff and, yeah. and all that stuff. So, and we we didn't have too much stuff, so I, I could and, and the school is pretty cool with attendance. Um, that's kind of the only thing, and I get to work ahead of time when I okay. when I go to do something. So it kind of works out. No, I gotta ask actually. When you say you, you were doing the online thing, is that something that the school was doing already, or did they just kind of no? It was actually put that together? it was actually a separate thing. It was um it was called I forget what it's called, but it's it's some it, there's a bunch of different online schools that you can do, but it had nothing to do with the school. Oh okay. Yeah, not my like my regular high school and stuff. So interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So are you gonna go to uh, are you gonna go to college or are you just gonna stick with playing music and um, uh, travel really, the world for a while? I'm not too sure. I think <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna see where this thing takes me. See where the, yeah, yeah, you I might think. have a future in this. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do that, you know. I was trying to get to that. <laughs> All right, now let's see if we can get you to play a little bit more for us, man. Yeah, uh, man. I'll do. Uh, what, please, yeah. What you, what you feeling? Um, it's one of my favorite actually cover songs to do. Uh, Why does love got to be so sad? It's a okay. Good, good tune, yeah. Me way to give me bad yesterday. I gonna ever want to forget you. Well, show me a place where I can hide my lonely face. Gonna bring my heart up and let you. Why does love got to be so sad? Why does love got to be so sad? Why does love got to be so sad? 
Why does love got to be so sad? Make a the flame, make a song without a name. I'm gonna ban the scene since I met you. Whoa, like a ball on the wing. I got a brand new song to sing. Lord, I can't go living without you. What is the got to be so sad? What is the got to be so sad? What is the got to be so sad? Yeah. What is the got to be so What a fool you made of me I might have to break the law when I find it Yes, I will Stop running away I got a better game to play Lord, I can't go living without you Yeah What has love got to be so sad? What has love got to be so sad? What has love got to be so sad? Why does 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 love got to be so sad? Yeah, yeah. that tune originally? Is that uh, like... Derek and the Dominoes. Oh, okay. Eric Clapton, yeah. Sure. Yeah, now, man. Um, now, I, we're, we're going to open things up actually in a minute here and take some questions from the audience. So if you want to think on it, you know, what you want to ask this young man, uh, get yourself ready. And Johnny's going to be running around with a microphone, so we'll just do that in a moment. Cool. Um, well, you want to tell him where you're uh, from? New Bedford, Mass, Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, now I was gonna ask. Uh, so what's what's on deck then? You have got the new album coming out. Uh, yeah, we've talk, yeah. Lot, we've talked a lot about all the things that uh, you've been doing in the past year. What's what's coming up? Um, well, we got the um, actually in March we're doing another uh, leg of Hendrix dates. So we'll do the, we're doing the last three dates of the Hendrix tour. So okay. they're doing one in, in this year. So we'll be on the last three. Um, and then we have some some more shows coming up um, in the spring and summer. You know, I, I don't know. There's been some stuff announced on my uh, my website and stuff. So, mm-hmm. but we're doing a lot of different festivals and and doing some more shows with Buddy and, and myself too. So I'm excited about all the gigs that are getting lined up. Yeah. Now I guess I gotta ask. You know, I, I imagine you know, from when you first met Buddy, just going backstage and uh, you know getting to meet him there. I I doubt you imagined at that time that it was gonna yeah. lead to this whole uh, life changing yeah. experience. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, um, nothing like is it. there anything? you know, that is still on your to-do list now where you're like, all right, you know what, I still haven't been on, you know, yeah, like the late, you've been on the late show though, I think, haven't you? Uh, <laughs> the new one, I Late night with Jimmy, Fim- when Jimmy oh, Fallon had okay. the late show, yeah, okay, late yeah. night, late night with Jimmy Fallon, yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah, is there anything that's still out there, um, you know, what, what do you? Oh yeah, I think every day, you know, there's something out there, different things. Um, you know, I definitely, there's a lot of goals in mind, you know, but I think right now what I'm, what I'm doing is, is, is fine, you know, I, th- I don't think go any less or further or more or whatever, I think, because the way we want to do it, it's, it's a gradual pace. You know, we don't mm-hmm. want an overnight thing and it drop the next Flash day. In the pan, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we want to just get a gradual, you know, and I want, obviously, to have a lot of longevity and, and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Now, yeah. um, let's see. actually, I wanted to ask you also, before, right before we take this, uh, some questions from the audience, what's, what's something that you're, what are you listening to these days? 
Uh, I'm listening to a lot of stuff. You know, I, the thing about me is I, I, I listen. Some days I'm, I'm listening to one thing, and another day I'm, I'm listening to something totally different. You know, I'm always, I've always been a huge Beatles fan, so that's okay, obviously yeah, yeah. in the loop, you know. Um, you know, I've been listening to a lot of, uh, actually, Tedeschi Trucks band. Okay. You know, they're, I just saw them last night at the Chicago Theater, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. You tell them to come by? <laughs> yeah, they might. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, you never they know. Might. I don't know. You never know what's going to happen around here. We had, uh, I don't know. We had, uh, Sinead O'Connor and yeah, yeah, yeah. Earl Slick last night. So. That was cool, man. Yeah. Cool. Um, there's a whole bunch of other people. I love Gary Clark, too. Mm -hmm. he's, he's one of my guys that I love. Um, you know, obviously Eric Clapton and, and those guys. And Alabama Shakes is a cool band, mm -hmm. too. I'm into them. Um, the Black Keys. You know, I love the Black sure. Keys. Um, yeah, the list goes on and on. Okay. I mean, for guitar players, I have a whole bunch of people I, I love to listen to. But for, uh, for newer music, I guess I'd say those names, you know. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, man. Now let's see. We got any questions out here in the audience? I guess I got, we got one over here. Hey, and Johnny's coming to you with the microphone, so we can the folks at home can hear what you got to to ask. We saw you play um, at RFK. Oh, cool! Yeah, and yeah, was an amazing show. Thank you so much. Any chance you'll be joining Buddy down at New Orleans Jazz Fest this year? Uh, oh, I don't know. I, I not not that I know of right now, but but maybe some. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, man. All right. What else we got? We got one over here. Over here, Johnny. Oh, we got another one right here, too. Quinn Sullivan? Yeah. When you get out of high school, you have one assignment for us. <laughs> Keep the blues alive. All, All right. right, that's you got All some right. homework now. <laughs> All right, yeah, I gotta, I gotta write that. I gotta write that down. <laughs> we got one over here. Hi, Quinn. Good Hi. to see you again. Hi, nice to see you. Yeah. I uh, sent a YouTube of you um, from, I think it was 2013 or 2014, to my cousins in Ireland, and they want to know when you're gonna come back. Oh, I love to be. I love to go there. Hopefully soon. Not nothing's lined up right now, but I, I hope. And the and maybe this year or next year to get down there well, to play a show. Well, they've been passing the video around. So cool. Especially around like the, the university in Galway, they really want to see you there. Oh, awesome, awesome! Tell them, tell them, hopefully soon. Cool. Hopefully, hopefully soon, yeah. Uh, we want to know who your musical influences are. Um, I have a whole bunch of people. You know, I I think uh, guitar player wise would definitely be a mixture of like Eric Clapton and, and Derek Trucks and, and of course Buddy and, and those are like the three main guys that I listen to that I that I kinda, you know, try to listen to and try to see what they're doing. Um, but there's a whole bunch of other people. I love like um, obviously Jeff Beck and, and Frank Zappa and uh, Warren Haynes and David Gill. Um, yeah and then it's it's like it's hard to think of like all of them at once. Um, uh, Gary Clark Jr. Um, is there anybody who has influenced you that people might not expect? Uh, I'd, I'd say Frank Zappa. Because yeah. I notice a lot of people when they say, when I, when I tell them, when they ask me that question, I say Frank Zappa, they're always like, wow, really? <laughs> you know who that is? <laughs> um, sure. So I was like, yeah, yeah. And uh, am I wrong, or, or was uh, I thought Dweezil was on some of the Hendrix dates? He is, too, yeah. yeah. I think he's on the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I love, he's a really Sounds kind of like his dad, you know. He's got that thing going, so that's sure. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, and is he also the one who's doing the Zappa plays Zappa tour? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's that's cool. Yeah. All right, we got one more question over here. Hi, Quinn. Hi. Hi. You mentioned that you had some goals. What are the goals that you have, like maybe in the immediate future or ultimately? Um, I think just to uh, just to keep doing what I'm doing, but on a on a full t more full time thing, for, for a full time schedule. And um, just to just keep playing and, and getting getting more well known and and, and just to kind of just keep it keeping it real, obviously. But um, but just to uh, you know maybe I'd love to win a Grammy one day, and I'd love to put out an album that does really well and, and the whole world knows about. So I have goals in mind, and you know just to keep playing, you know, keep playing. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, yeah. uh, Johnny was actually asking a question earlier here. He wanted to know. Uh, what song it was that you played when BB King handed you his guitar? Uh, I, I actually I, I don't 
I don't quite know. I think it was just a, a, a blues thing that he was doing. I don't oh, think it, they I don't had think a tune it, going. It was, right, it yeah. was already a thing. Yeah, they were already playing and stuff, and I think the band the band was already like kind of quiet, and he brought me out and stuff. Um, I think it was just a, a, a blues thing. It wasn't. Oh, any, okay. I don't think it was any particular thing. Sure, they all run together a, when you do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it was like a medley of stuff that he was doing, and then he, and he called me out and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. Um, can you give us a little bit of that? Uh, you know, give us a little bit of that old school blues. You know, something. Can you play a little something yeah, for us? Yeah, man, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Got my kit. <laughs> you got it. To me. Yeah, man. Cool. Now, um, we're not gonna keep you here all day. We don't. We, we don't get people uh, too satisfied. They gotta wait for it, you know. <laughs> um, but we do have a little. I, I want to ask a couple more things. Yeah, um, sure. First, I'm sure that uh, there's like a couple of gearheads who are watching online somewhere who are just like screaming silently, waiting for me to ask about your pedals here. Yeah. So I'm gonna see if I can adjust this camera here. You want to tell us a little bit about what you're using? Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I kind of change it up all the time. Uh, for the new year, I, I kind of wanted to do something different. Um, so over here we have a, uh, I just actually got, this is the newest pedal I got. This is a Univibe, it's a Dunlop, it's a, it's a Dunlop pedal, but it's, uh, MXR puts it out. Um, so it's just the Univibe sound. I'll, I'll do like a kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. This is kind of a, kind of Hendrixy kind of thing. Uh-huh. Messing around with this. So it's got that kind of yeah. like that cool like chorusy type thing. Um, over here, I just got this pedal uh, last year. This is called an Octafuzz. Mm -hmm. So what it does is it kind of gives you two options it gives you uh an octa octavia sound or it gives you a uh, fuzz sound so I'll, this is the this is the fuzz sound That's the that's the fuzz, and then the uh, I'll flick the switch real quick. Mm -hmm. This is 
like the Oct Octavia kind of, also kind of a Hendrix type thing. So you get that kind of thing, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, this is kind of my main, my main sound. Uh, this is a Ibanez Tube Screamer. Just kind classic, of a, yeah. yeah, it's just the classic thing. I've I don't think I've ever left. It's never left the board because I've always kept it in there. It's just I can't ever get rid of it. You know, but this is just the classic kind of my kind of thing. But So that's kind of a distortion overdrive type thing. Um, yeah. I think they like it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, obviously the Wah Wah pedal. It's a Buddy Guy signature Wah Wah. So let me just click the switch real quick. So uh, yeah, this is just a kind of classic crybaby. You know, it's just the, uh, I think everyone's heard that before. Sure. If you've seen Buddy Guy, you've seen, you've seen this, you know? Sure. So it's got that kind of thing, you know? Um, that's about it. I keep it pretty simple, you know, most of the time, you know? Um, yeah. You can tell what kind of a DIY sort of place. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you want to take us out with uh, with something from the new record, uh, or, or whatever you're feeling? Or whatever you know? we're feeling. Yeah, yeah whatever yeah. you're feeling. What you're feeling? Um, any requests? I don't know. I don't... Buddy's Blues. Buddy's Blues. Yeah. They want to do that? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. And you want to tell them the story with this particular tune? This is this is one of the first ones you picked this up, is, right? Yeah, this is actually on um, uh, Cyclone. This is an old, older, older song, you know. Yeah. But uh, this is about the first time I uh, met Buddy Guy. This is called Buddy's Blues. Yeah. I picked up this guitar. At the age of five Yes, I picked up this guitar At the age of five My whole world turned upside down When I first heard the master buddy guy Yeah Yes, one day my mom and daddy told me Buddy Guy was coming to our town Yes, one day my mom and daddy told me yeah, Buddy Guy was playing in my town We walked into the concert and I could not believe the sound And he saw my polka dot bandana And he called me up on stage And he saw my polka dot bandana And he called me up on stage The audience went crazy when me and Bunny got played. 
We traded licks all night. He gave me that body count grill. He asked me who I was. Yes, I said my name is Queen, yeah. I picked up this guitar at the age of five. My whole world turned upside down when I first heard the real deal. Mr. Buddy Guy I bought him now. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. All right.